All right, let's get straight to the news. We have more explosions being heard in Israel and actually one that was seen on camera. This is the one that was heard. Listen to this. Now, this one is a little more wild. Could you imagine hearing this in your neighborhood? Listen to this shit. Then you just get a direct hit. Sheesh. That one was wild. As far as news, after the attack on the Greek vessel, the United States just destroyed a Houthi's missile system in Yemen. The U.S. Central Command said on Friday its forces had destroyed one Houthi missile system in a Houthi-controlled area of Yemen in the past 24 hours. We also got news that a Turkish drone strike killed three of the PKK members in Iraq. Forget about the one they did by a U.S. base just a couple days ago. Sheesh. Then we have the United States military saying that they killed the leader of Al-Qaeda aligned group in Syria. We have Hezbollah saying that they targeted 15 locations in northern Israel today. They claimed direct hits even though the Israeli military said they intercepted most of the launches. But others did fall in certain areas as y'all seen in my last video. We have the United States sending $125 million in military aid to Ukraine. And this is as their incursion is still going on. Tomorrow's Independence Day in Ukraine and the United States and Germany are warning that there might be civilian casualties in a mass attack on Ukraine. So they are urging their citizens to pretty much leave the country. Ukraine is saying that they're now using United States guide bombs for strikes on Russia. Not only did they hit a platoon base, they also hit some of their assets and they hit uh, some of their soldiers. Then Israel killed three fighters in Syria as well. This is being reported by a UK-based monitor. A weapons depot and an air defense battery and a fuel storage were part of the targets. So this is your latest report. Got a live coming next.